Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. And before we begin, as usual, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you that we get to come before you and ask you to do what you said you would do, to guide us into all truth by your Holy Spirit. And today, as we study your word again in the book of Esther, I pray that you will open our hearts to know what it is that you want us to know about you, your son Jesus, and your ways. Lord, I ask that you would bless us with your spirit that we might be able to live according to those ways, and we'll be careful to give you the thanks. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The title to today's lesson is Decree, Sitting, Drinking, and Perplexed. And it's taken from the book of Esther, chapter 3, and verse 15. Haman has received his desire to have a command for the execution of the Jews. Posts have gone through the entire Persian Empire with written declarations that say that all Jews must be exterminated upon the 13th day of Adar, which is the 12th month of the year. In chapter 3 and verse 15, we see the reaction of King Ahasuerus, Haman, and the people within the city of Shushan. We read, The post went out, being hastened by the king's commandment, And the decree was given in Sushan, the palace. And the king and Haman sat down to drink. But the city of Sushan was perplexed. Our verse begins, The post went out, being hastened by the king's commandment, and the decree was given in Sushan, the palace. In obedience to the commandment given by the king, these posts, or messengers, went out in a hastened manner. The king was given credit for the commandment, even though we know that Haman was the driving force behind it. We also notice that the decree was not only given to the provinces which were kingdom large, but also locally in Sushan, the palace. That which was to take place in the vast distant places within the Persian Empire was to transpire in the king's dwelling as well. The verse goes on to say, And the king and Haman sat down to drink. Like those who sit down to celebrate a great victory, Haman and the king sat down to drink. No doubt they recounted their efforts together, and with a cavalier demeanor they held no regard for the edict they had just commanded upon the chosen people of God. Although they appeared to be celebrating their efforts, they have forgotten one major thing. God was watching and governing over the Jews no matter how successful their plan might have seen. Finally, the verse ends with, But the city Sushan was perplexed. The reaction of the people within the city of Sushan was perplexity, which means confused. The people who dwelt in the winter city of the king could not figure out what this edict was all about in the first place. They were not privy to the offense that Haman incurred by Mordecai's refusal to bow, and they were not of the same passion to eliminate an entire group of people like Haman. This command only served to confuse those who lived closest to the king, and we can be sure their perplexity raised a number of questions among them. Have we ever been involved in situations that seemed to be going one way and ended in quite another? Has there ever been a declaration given or received that caused perplexity within us? Though some may sit back and drink in celebration to their perceived success, it's important that we remember that there is a sovereign God who governs over every situation and circumstance in which we are involved. Ultimately, the outcome depends upon the Almighty. And if there is any sitting down and celebrating to be done, it should be over the fact that God is on his throne. He is on the scene and will govern over any difficulty that comes our way. Next time, we will begin a new chapter and see Mordecai's reaction to the decree. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. 
More th- may the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.